Hey, what's up YouTube? DIY guy here, and today I'm working on my 2017 Honda Ridgeline, and I'm going to be installing the locking tailgate. So this is a modification that you can do on the early second generation Ridgelines. There was no locking tailgate, so I'm going to show you the parts that are required and the steps to go through. So let's get started. So as you can see on this current tailgate um, there is no lock here there's no way to lock it It doesn't have an automatic lock either so even if you have a tonneau cover on here anyone can just come up and open the tailgate so there's no way to secure anything so what we want to be able to do is add a locking capability on here so I'll show you the parts that are required for that okay so you really need two part numbers for this modification the first one is going to be a new tailgate handle and this has to be ordered in the uh, matching uh, color so this is a lunar silver metallic so there is a separate part number for each color um, and the difference really from the existing one is it's just got this locking hole so I have to replace that locking hole the second part is this combination of parts here which is a new bracket uh, with the opening rods and it's also got the lock um, mechanism here and it will come with two keys that match the lock so um, you will be able to add that together so combination of these two and I'll leave the part number in the description again remember your part number for the handle is going to differ based on the color okay so the first thing we need to do is remove the um, tailgate cover so here we have four Phillips screws here that we're going to have to remove. So each one of those are going to have to come out. And then in addition to that, we are going to have uh, four of these Torx screws here. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. Um, and I'm going to be using a T30 Torx bit to take those out. So I'm gonna get started on that and then we'll take it apart. Okay, now that the, we've got those out, the first part we need to take off is this part because there's two more hidden uh, Torx bolts holding this on. Um, so in order to take this off, we have to slide it to the right. Uh, it's a little bit stuck. You can take it. Okay, so I'm hitting this with the rubber mallet. This definitely did not come off easy for me. I, I had to hit both ends and I'm kind of hitting here on the corner. Um, it is a plastic, so I don't want to break it, but I worked it back and forth until I was able, and you can see how far over here and how far over I had to hit it in order to make it come loose. So now that I can see that it's loose, I should be able to just pull that off. And now we get that off, we'll see, we see that uh, we have all these plastic clips here and still in the holes here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, just we're gonna collect all these, it should be like 16 of these. Um, and we're gonna put them back in plastic piece that we just took off so we're going to collect these out of here and in order to do that you have to turn them kind of clockwise about not not a quarter turn only turn it about an eighth of a turn about like that and then they'll come out A little bit stuck in there but again take it turn it about an eighth of a turn has to be just the right angle 
and you'll feel, you'll feel it come loose. You still have to pull it past these things here, but you're basically getting it diagonal like that. Okay, so I pulled all those out of there. Uh, there's actually 18 of those. So uh, in case you missing any. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them back in here. Um, and you wanna take this here, turn it towards you, and then put it in each one of these and then slide it over, slide it over. Make sure I slide it over like that. So again, I'm gonna take this this way put it in and then slide it all the way over. Um, so I'm gonna go through and put all these back in and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, I got those all put in and I set that aside. And then the next thing we're gonna do is there's three more of these torque screws here. So we need to take those out. And then we can take this cover off. Okay, so we've got those out. We can now lift this cover off here. And we are going to set this out of the way. And next thing we're gonna do is working, work on taking the tailgate handle on. There's, um, there's only a few things holding it in. There's two uh, bolts holding it in here. There's this connecting rod here. And of course the uh, wire connection for the backup camera. So we just need to remove those three things. So we can first disconnect the wire pretty simply here. Zoom in a little bit. It is held down here but we can push this tab, push down and slide it over. That takes that connection off. Then we have inside each one of these, you can see down in here and then over in right there, there are two 10 millimeter bolts. So if we just put a long, tension on there we can loosen those and I'll take both of those out okay I got both of those out those are short make sure you don't lose them down in there um, and then the last thing holding this on is just this green clip so we're going to just slide it to the left so just like that then you should be able to just lift up on this. At that point, I also have a blanket down under, underneath here. So I didn't want to like uh, have this drop out and, and break. So we should be able to take the tailgate handle out now. Okay, so this um, actually did, on mine was not loose. So you had to push down and push down from the top inside here and then slide this out. So there, it should come out. The old one will come out. We've got to now take this uh, backup camera off here and apply it to the new handle. As you can see here, there's just two Phillips screws that are holding this in. So we're going to take both of these off. Make sure you don't strip these. They're in there a little tight. There's a backup camera that came off. Um, and here is my new handle. So I'm going to apply this back in here with the same screws. And then we'll move on to the bracket. I've got the last step before we move on from the handle, though, is to put the lock cylinder in. So we're going to take the clip that is provided with the lock set. And it's going to slide on here. So this is going to allow us to screw in the uh, screw that holds in the lock set. Then we're going to take the lock that came with it. If you notice, there's a notch here. It's going to go in this notch, and this is going to slide on the top there. So that should slide in there nice. 
and easy. Then we're gonna take the screw that also came with the set and put that in there. And you should be able to test out your key to make sure everything's working at this point. All right. Okay, before we replace the, br the bracket, um, we do have to replace this purple clip here with the one that came from the with the kit, which you can see is bigger, sturdier compared to the old one there. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna take this off, we're gonna, we're gonna twist it, and get it off that cable there, so turn it this way, so the cable will come out. And then we're just gonna pry this up out of here. Okay, so that comes out there. And then we're going to swap the new one in. I'm just going to put that in there. Make sure you push it down all the way in. And then slide it so that the uh, this cable is down in the hole. And clip it back on. So in the bracket, we're going to have to put this over here. Um, so what we need to do is take off these two and these two here. They're all 10 millimeter. So again, we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket and remove each one of these. And then we'll be ready to place the new bracket in. Okay, so these three will come out pretty easy. The only, this one, you can't kind of get straight down on it. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this off here. So push this over this way. So you can pull this up out of the way a little bit. That gives us access to this one here with the socket. Okay, now we're ready to install our new bracket. So again, we're just gonna line this up here, tuck it under here, and align the four bolt holes. And then we're gonna take our four millimeter, I'm sorry, the 10 millimeter bolts. And you may have to hold, hold underneath here, fingers to hold that up, and get all those loaded. Um, and then we will tighten those down. Okay, if we've got all those in there, sometimes you have, you have to reach underneath to pull up the silver bracket so that you get a connection with the bolt that goes in there. I'm going to tighten those up. And after we get those uh, tight, um, remember we can we need to reconnect this one here. So. We're gonna put it in back in the hole and swing this back around and clip it on there. We'll tighten these last two and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna finish prepping the handle so we can put that back in. Uh, we're gonna take the, new, this is the new piece that came with the uh, lock set. And this part here, you can see this end is different than that end. Um, this has got a little barb on it. So that is going to go in here with the blue clip. Put that in and then swing the clip down. And then the final step on prepping this is going to take the new white clip. You got two that came with the uh, set. And we're going to take that and insert it in here. Push that all the way down. And now we're ready to insert the new handle. Okay, so we got the new handle. We're going to insert it from underneath. Uh, these two things here are going to go in first because they're going to clip over the edge. And then once we get it in there, we are going to have to tilt this forward by pulling on the handle. 
So we go through, feed your wire, and the blue bar through there. That is, it's a little tricky to get that in there. It does go in, but you almost have to put the, the top in, hold the handle, put the top in, and then slide the bottom tabs in. So you have to fiddle around with a little bit to get that on there. Uh, I am going to connect the backup camera back before I forget that. Make sure that clicks in there. And now we're ready to uh, put on the new uh, connectors. Actually, before we do the new rod brackets, uh, let's make sure we put the 10 millimeter um, bolts back down in here. There's one on each side. So I'm gonna put that on to hold the handle in here. And um, don't want to just these just need to be snug, not too tight because they're just plastic and it'll break. They they weren't very tight when I took them off. Okay, now we've got the um, bracket piece that we have with the new handle. New. That's going to go in here. So connect it here and then swing the green clip around so it connects. And then we have another one last piece that came with it, which is another one of these white clips, the same one. Um, that's going to go in here. And what that does, it, it allows you to connect the locking mechanism which is right here the new lock with this so that's what's going to allow you to unlock it there so if you push that in there um you can see there was the other that was that other new white clip that we have let's see if we can get a better shot of that that was the new white clip that we had installed on there so when we put that in there we're going to swing that around and clip that on there and then we're going to put this in here and swing it around, clip it on there. And that's all the connections we need to make. And we're going to test it out now. So inserting our key underneath here in the new lock, we can see that if we have it this way and pull the handle, it won't, it won't open if we turn the key. You can see that it will allow us to unlock it. And now that I've tested it, I'm going to uh, take the cover and lay this back down on here. Get that lined up and um, I'm going to put in these three Torx screws right here and then these four up here. I'm just going to put these in by hand. And then I will tighten them down after I get them in there. Okay, so I got all seven of those Torx bolts back in. Now what we're going to do is take this piece. We're going to line up the holes with the white clips. Make sure you line them up all straight. And we should be able to push that in straight. Got all the clips lined up. So if you had all the white clips lined up like um, I did, then you just push it on straight. There's no need to slide when you're putting it back on. Um, that's only when you're taking it off. So they were all lined up straight, they pushed in, and then the last step is really just to put these uh, Phillips screws back in here. Um, and that's it. So 
hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please uh, leave a like down there. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. I'll be making some more Ridgeline videos. Thanks.